Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your girl, Kali the Bad Shit Gamma, aka Allison. If you didn't know my name, my beautiful channel, same now you do. If you're new to my channel and you watch right now, you know what to do. Hit that lovely subscribe button beside my name because I like seeing little commas coming to my channel. Ah! Anyways, me and my husband, we've been waiting since Friday the 13th for the Smarter Controller, and guess what finally comes in today? <laughs> the Smarter Controller. Nothing special about it, it's just a regular black controller like this, PS3 controller, and I will explain that in a minute. But other than that, I want to tell y'all what happened, the juicy details. Anyways, we ordered it Friday the 13th, and I, along with that, I ordered my Avermedia, and everything was going good, it said the modded controller would be here Monday the 16th and my Avermedia uh, Tuesday the 17th so we were like oh yay excited he gets what he gets and I get what I get so Monday comes waited all day I went outside and I waited for it and I seen the mail truck and it's just like okay let me go get it let me go get it ah! so I went to go get the mail and it was nothing but bills and no modded controller so we ended up calling and the guy says it'll be there Thursday so he was like, eh. And I felt uh, that I felt bad for him, and I'm like, eh. Well, Tuesday comes and I get my Avermedia, and he's like, eh. And I'm like, eh. But I got what I wanted, and I feel, eh. So um, yeah. Wednesday comes, and then Thursday comes, and the modded controller still hasn't came. We call. And we were talking to him, and the guy goes, well, it'll be there Friday. If it ain't there Friday, it'll be there Saturday. And if it don't go there Saturday, then it'll be definitely on Monday. So we wait. Friday, don't come. Saturday, don't come. Monday, don't come. So Monday, we ended up calling, and the guy's like, it'll be there sometime this week. So, yeah. We had the rushing process. The too many on day flat rate box and just a plain old modded controller, like nothing special about it. Like I said, it's just a black PS3 controller. Like, what's taking so damn long? Cause I understand if it was like a custom controller, like paint on it, chrome, and all that stuff. But it's just a plain old black controller that you put like a mod inside of it, and then you screw it together, and then you send it off. What the crap? So, we end up waiting, Tuesday comes, Wednesday comes, finally Thursday. Where's the controller, you know? So we call and the guy's like, okay, it takes three to five business days if you do the rushing process and the two minimum day flat rate. Uh, if, you, if we didn't get that, we would wait like about a month in order to get it, you know? So we're glad that we got that and then all of a sudden, you know, he tells us we'll make a deal with you since you were supposed to get your controller today because it's not, you know, in today. We'll dot we'll go down with it. We'll give you your shipping money back and give you a one day um overnight rushing thing, like express or something like that. And we're like, alright, okay. So the overnight expressing thing, we thought it would be there Friday. Okay, well the guy tells us it'll be there Friday. If not, it'll be there Saturday. If not, it'll be there Monday. Okay, it don't come here Friday. It don't come here Saturday. And it definitely damn don't come here Monday. So we're like, what the f Okay, we call and 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 we call. Monday, it, they don't answer the phone, they don't do nothing, it's just, it's like ignoring time for us. So we were pissed off to the max. So later, um, the third, uh, Tuesday, after Monday, because they ignored us, so Tuesday comes and we call them and we finally get a hold of somebody. Because we left them a message and we told them it's urgent, call us back, yada yada yada. Well, we finally get a hold of somebody and the guy's like, okay, definitely it is, I'm going to get you your email, I'm going to get you your tracking number, and I'm going to get it out, and you will get it Wednesday. Definitely Wednesday, you have my word, because I told my husband 
have a smart ass attitude with him be you know straight up with him don't back down to him or nothing because you put you paid 162 dollars for this freaking controller and it's just not working right i mean what the hell is going on here there's, there's nothing's making no sense and you know he's like being blunt with him and stuff like that the guys you know saying i'll give you my word because that shit's recorded i give you my word it'll be you'll get two emails you get an email having your tracking number and you'll get an email saying it's shipped okay we got the two emails and uh, he said it'll be there definitely wednesday so wednesday comes today and guess what we get early in the morning our modded controller finally like jesus freaking christ i'm like never doing this again i'm sorry i love the people you know that are sponsored by them but that's just freaking ridiculous but anyways getting to the modded controller because i know it's like hitting six minutes right now getting to the modded controller okay this i can see, i'm gonna show you a regular controller and i'm gonna show you the modded controller this is a regular controller ps3 black and it, one led light it's just regular there's no buttons on the back or anything and yeah it's just a regular controller this is the modded controller as you can see there is a button on the right side behind the thumbstick on the left no the left the right side of the, thumb, the, the thumbstick there is a button that is the mod you click it it turns it well it was on but you click it it turns it on you click it it turns it off that's dealing with all the mods so I'm gonna turn it on okay that as you can see on the other one shows a regular LED light now this is what happens when the mod is on it'll flash like real fast or whatever but um to turn it off you just press that button and it turns off when you turn on your mods are on all of them the ones that you have set when you turn it off it's just like a regular ps3 controller nothing wrong with it you can play with it normally and all that i mean you could turn it on and off to you know not be suspicious or anything but well it's whatever um getting to all the mods that are on it i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna read out every single one of them yay so you have rapid fire and you have burst fire rapid fire is to enable rapid fire tap the mod button located on the bottom of the controller under the right thumbstick you will see the player 4 led light start flashing indicating rapid fire is now activated to turn off rapid fire tap the mod button again on the player 4 led will stop flashing indicating rapid fire is turned off rapid fire is where you know you have like a g11 and it's just shooting non-stop it don't stop um burst fire to enable burst fire make sure the rapid fire is turned on then hold right on d-pad on and tap the mod button the player 4 led will turn solid this indicates that the burst fire is activated the burst fire will fire at the current speed burst settings which can be adjusted with the programming mod so that's rapid fire and that's burst fire so getting to the mimic the mimic is the auto akimbob or akibo or whatever that freaking word is is mimic when using the Mimic, R1 controls both L1 and R1 at the same time. If L1 is enabled for Rapid Fire, see page 2, blah, 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 and Rapid Fire is turned on, then L1 will also Rapid Fire. Otherwise, L1 works as normal, allowing you to scope. To activate, hold left on D-pad and tap the mod button. Okay, sub mods. Jitter mod, quick scope, and drop shot. Jitter mod is where you can sit there instead of a uh, triangle and R1 and you do the little reload or whatever. It jitters. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'll do a video on it of me doing all this and I'll post it up later. 
because I'm still trying to get used to this thing or, or whatever. But I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to read, you know, little bits and pieces. Jitterfire, all COD except Modern Warfare 3. Um, adjustable fast reload, all COD except Modern Warfare 3. Auto aim, the auto aim feature only works with zombies and campaign game, campaign games, and does not work with online matches, uh, matching games. So basically, you can only use the auto aim, that's aimbot, with zombies and campaign. I don't know why. But you can go and download, you can look up aimbot and download a little thing and then connect it to your PS3 and then download it and you'll have aimbot, but whatever. Quickscope. Um, quickscope is, uh, you can, I guess, automatically quickscope to somebody. I don't understand. It's got two mods. Sub 1 is default for Modern Warfare 3 quickscope. Sub mod 2, Modern Warfare quickscope and rapid fire. I don't know. And then you got drop shot. You have four mods with this. Sub mod one default always drop and stand. Sub mod two drop stand if not aiming down sight. Sub mod three drop only. Sub mod four drop only if not aiming down sight. Drop shot tactical. Uh, for the use of tactical button layouts, where R3 is the crouch prone button, you will activate drop shot by holding R3 and then tapping the mod button. You must still use circle for charging it or changing the sub mod. Auto sniper breath. Sniper breath is um, where you, you know how you aim in down the sights with a sniper and you push L3 and you know you got to hold down your breathing and uh what the hell ever um this is auto sniper breath allows you to scope with l1 and automatically hold your breath without having to hold l3 to activate hold l3 and tap the mod button okay changing user adjustable rapid fire burst fire um i'll put this manual on the um description below and uh yeah but the rapid fire speed setting table um, at speed 50, 33.3, 25, 20, 16.67, all of them, um, uh, that is, uh, you get to shoot faster than other people, get to aim faster than other people, and all that good old stuff. But anyways, I'm going to put everything that I talked about in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very long, but it's explaining the mod controller most of it but yeah i love you guys thank you for the support and watching this video and i hope you have a nice day and i will talk to you later don't forget to leave a like don't forget to leave a dislike and don't forget to sub my beautiful channel i love you guys Mwah. later